Welcome to Discovering Christianity, a channel dedicated to exploring the world of Christian faith and philosophy. Our mission is to help you uncover the beauty and richness of Christianity by delving into its history, teachings, and practices. From biblical studies and theology to spirituality and personal growth, we cover a wide range of topics. We believe that Christianity has much to offer in terms of enriching our lives and deepening our spiritual understanding. Don't forget to watch till the end of the video for details on our first giveaway. Welcome back to our channel, where we delve into the mysteries and profound teachings of the Christian faith. Today, we're examining a significant event in Christian eschatology, the Final Judgment, also known as the Great White Throne Judgment. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. The Great White Throne Judgment is a biblical concept that comes from Revelation chapter 20 verses 11 to 15. In this passage, Apostle John describes a vision of a final judgment before a great and white throne. According to his vision, all the dead, both great and small, stood before this throne, awaiting judgment. Let's look closely at the scripture. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. The throne's greatness suggests its authority, and its whiteness represents its purity and righteousness. The one who sits on the throne is God, the ultimate judge of humanity. His overwhelming presence causes the earth and heaven to flee, indicating the seriousness of this moment. The passage continues, And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works. This portion reveals that every person, regardless of status or power, will stand before God. The books mentioned contain the record of every person's deeds, while the book of life, contains the names of those who have received eternal life through faith in Jesus Christ. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. No one is exempt from this judgment. The sea, death, and hell all surrender their dead. Every individual is judged according to their deeds. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. This final verse reveals the ultimate fate of death and hell. They are cast into the lake of fire, symbolizing their final defeat. For those whose names are not in the book of life, they too, face the second death, eternal separation from God in the lake of fire. The great white throne judgment serves as a sobering reminder of the reality of eternal judgment and the importance of faith in Jesus Christ. It underscores the need for repentance and the acceptance of Christ's saving grace in this life. In closing, we hope this exploration of the Great White Throne Judgment has deepened your understanding of this significant event in Christian eschatology. We encourage you to continue studying scripture, seeking wisdom, and growing in your faith. As we're approaching our first milestone of 1,000 subscribers, we're excited to announce a giveaway. We'll be giving away a large print ESV study Bible to the subscriber who comments the most across our videos at the moment we hit 1000 subscribers. So, make sure to like, subscribe, and keep the conversation going in the comments. Thank you for joining us today, and as always, may God bless you all. Until next time, keep seeking, and you shall find.